Max Toll has been touring the regions ahead of the election. We've been getting some of Max's work, some of it's been on Morning Report, and he's been talking to young people about the issues that matter most to them for the wireless series Beyond the Beehive. Well, at the weekend, he ended up halfway between Gisborne and Napier in a town called Wairoa. It's a small coastal town, about 8,000 people, uh, freezing works there, struggles. Um, times aren't always easy. Locals told him there aren't enough jobs or opportunities. So he he asked them what they'd do if they were Prime Minister and had one million dollars to spend in the town. Because you know we get some mad flooding around here in Waro and really? you got trees coming down. How long before we can't use the community yeah. centre? How long? Yeah. When's it going to stop? Stop what? the erosion. Over the past couple of days we've been in Kawado, Gisborne, now we've come to Waido and the same themes keep coming through, that young people feel like politics and politicians can't positively affect their lives. They're incredibly eloquent when they talk about the issues that affect them and other young people in their area, but when it comes to politics, there's a complete disconnect. So basically, in Waido today, we're going to ask young people a very simple question. If you were Prime Minister and you had a million bucks to spend in Waido, what would you spend it on? Uh, I'd buy a Warrow a McDonald's and a KFC so it can give our youth um, uh, a couple more jobs out there because I love to eat McDonald's and say this my son. The children, brother, children, yeah, invested in putting some new playgrounds around town. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe maybe make a few of our blind spots a bit more safer. You know, I see them doing it everywhere else, the, like in Flexby and Hastings and stuff. They've got speed bumps yeah. when you're going down their little roads and stuff and there's a lot of Kids playing around and stuff, bro. So it's all about the old kids. The next generation. I'll tell you one thing. Maybe we can reinforce these uh, riverbanks. Yep, because, definitely. you know, we get some mad flooding around here in Waro And really? you got trees coming down. How long before we can't use the yeah. community centre? How long? Yeah. When's it going to stop? Stop what? the erosion. A million dollars, Waro. Yeah, I think it's serious answer would be you need better schooling, better something more for people to actually stay. Because everyone, like, as soon as they finish high school or even through high school, they just leave. By chance, we met Zach Stark, an American rapper now living in Waidor. Uh, I run the theatre down the road, the Gaiety Theatre. I'm um, just a manager. And then outside of that, my family's uh, bought the Clyde Hotel on Marine Parade. And we're going to start a recording studio and post-production facility, Why? which hopefully will turn into a school. Why Waidor? Um, it's it's about wide oil, but also about the whole East Coast. Is like the sheer number of musos and like talented people here is kind of outrageous, and they're all super duper humble and hiding in the in the woods, and um, and so we really want to kind of un uncover that and help them, you know, reach maybe hopefully an international status. I'll ask you the same question I've been asking everyone else today. Yeah. You've got a million bucks to spend in wide oil, apart yeah. from the recording studio <laughs> and everything you've got planned. Bucks, yeah. What else are you spending it on? I think it's the same what the bros were saying earlier, it's just the riverbank, man. Like, it gets real rough when the, when the heavy rains come and forestry, and as you can see, like, there's just logs upon logs in there. And when we first got here, it was emerald like every day. And then the past two years, we've only had a handful of good days. The rest of the time, it's murky. There's logs sticking out of it. I also used to wakeboard in Hong Kong, and we used to you know, run the river, but now it's kind of dangerous. Like, if you fall over and you hit a branch or something you can't see under the water, like, you're done. So, so that's kind of upsetting. I, I would, I, if it was me, I'd be trying to do that. A few minutes later, we met Craig. There's um, not really that much for us to do around here. Um, there's no jobs, no opportunities. Um, pretty much we just walk around.